Okay guys, today we're gonna be making beef and beans. So, all you need is the beef, the chuck roast, garlic, can of diced tomatoes, an onion, and then the green beans, which are over there. We're gonna clean them up in a little bit. We're gonna cut up the meat first, and then start with the garlic. So, I just sauteed, is it the garlic? And then I added tomatoes and onions, and we're gonna wait until that cooks down a little bit. While we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and cut up some green beans, the rice, is in the rice cooker and it is cooking. So we just added the meat and then added some water to cover it so it has a broth and now I'm just gonna continue chopping up the green beans and we'll add those a little bit later on. So we put in the green beans and they are finally cooked and it's done. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Good? Mm. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, people? We're making a sinigang. I'm on a Filipino kick right now. Uh, so the other day we had beef and beans. Now we're making sinigang. Onions, the tomatoes, uh, the bok choy. I like broccoli in mine uh, and the green beans. And then I cut up the making my with Chuck Rose. So sinigang sounds a little weird, a little weird sounding, not really American. But it's like a sour, spicy, beefy, or whatever. You just get these packets, sinigang packets. All right, so the meat's pretty much cooked. Now we're just trying to, you know, bring it back up to a boil a little bit, heat it up a little bit. But as you'll see, we got we just put in the onions, we just put in the tomato. So right now it's just water, beef, onions, tomato. We're gonna bring that back up to a boil. Put some salt, some pepper. Real, real simple. Yes, this is all gonna combine real nicely. Let's go. All right, so now we got the vegetables in there and we're boiling it up a little bit. We got the broccoli, we got the green beans, and we put a couple peppers in there uh, to spice it up a little bit. We got the bok choy, the white parts of the bok choy in there. So, like I said, it's just a lot of vegetables. We got some, some beef in there, um, and it's a little bit sour. And of course, we got the rice. Some people might not see a rice cooker. If you make one minute rice, L. Yes, all the goodness is in the pot. That's it, we good. That broccoli, soak up all the juices like a sponge. That's the best part. Mimi, food! <laughs> but yeah, we got the Sydney Gung now. And we got the rice. Come on, Sham. Mmm, take a good bite. Oh, yes. Mmm. The cheeks is full. Get some rice now. Quit! Get some rice now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We gon' grow. All right, hello. I told you guys in the last vlog that I was making bread and I'm going to be making more bread. This becomes a very messy process. We have the flour, we got some salt, and we'll have sugar, the yeast. So I will put the recipe down below in the description box. Okay, so it's been like two hours and the dough has risen a lot. I just finished eating dinner and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the bread. Now I'm just covering it with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna let it rise for another 30 minutes and then we'll cook it for another 30 to 45 minutes. And the bread is done. That is how you know it's done. I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit and eat it after. The bread is done. So, it's currently the next day and today we're gonna make some Chili. We're making chili on my Lolo's birthday. Got the potatoes. Rachel's got the hard job cutting up the potatoes into bite-sized pieces. Oh yeah! I put a little garlic in there. Now we're gonna put the onion in. All these peppers in here. Yeah. Now them onions be looking right. 
Now we're going to add the meat. You know, we like our protein, so we're going to put the whole thing. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> now put a can of chili beans. He watching basketball. Now we're going to put you know, a can of the tomatoes. Now the beans. Come on, beans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. And then we got to put the potatoes in. We like guys chunky. Ooh, the chili is done. She's steaming. Now we got Rachel's bread she made. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Just mmm. And then put the, put the cheese. Oh, put the cheese. The no, cheese. The cheese. I'm gonna put the cheese on it. Hey guys, hello. It's the next day. It's later at night, 8.05, and your girl's making some focaccia bread so that tomorrow we can go on a picnic and eat my fancy bread. Really excited, I've been working on it for like two hours now. Got two more hours to go. And while we're waiting, I want to make mint chocolate chip cookies. All right, so we got all the ingredients right here. We got the mint chocolate chip cookies, the regular chocolate chip cookies, vanilla extract, peppermint extract, cocoa powder, salt, the butter, some flour, some normal sugar. We got the brown sugar, and we got baking soda. Yay, picnic. It's like last year. <laughs> okay, go ahead, try it. Did you put salt on top? Um, there's some salt, garlic powder, and rosemary. And then we got the pineapple with the tahini, and then we got my cookies that I made, and there's other cookies in there. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> 